guys, Ultimate Toy Collector here. Today we're going to take a look at Diamond Select Toys Marvel Select 10-inch Planet Hulk figure. Uh, this thing is an absolute beast. Now this is not Hulk from Thor Ragnarok. Uh, this is from the comic book uh, Planet Hulk. Uh, it does have a little bit of the Ragnarok uh, vibe to it with some of the armor, but it's basically based off of... Uh, off of the comic storyline. Now this is a uh, Disney store exclusive. Actually Disney and I believe Marvel Shop is also carrying this. Uh, and he's, like I said, he's about 10 inches uh, tall with about 16 points of articulation. A lot of crazy detail. Uh, he's sculpted by Gene St. Pierre um, for Marvel Select, Diamond Select Toys. Um, let's look at the side here. On the spine, we have uh, illustration of Hulk. Looking all battle torn there. And on the back here, we have our uh, our Hulk there uh, standing, holding his axe with his helmet and his shield there. All right. And uh, this is, they always do a phenomenal job with the Hulk characters. Um, I think because they're just so big, they look so much more. Uh, amazing uh, and the fact that you can take this large scale Hulk and match it up with like your Marvel Legends figures and it'll fit perfectly and it won't seem out of scale uh, so um, let's open this up and take a look all right so here we have our planet Hulk out of the package uh, assembled I put uh, the top piece on his helmet and he has his weapons now just for size comparison uh, I have a Marvel Legends Iron Man from the Black Panther wave here, uh, Invincible Iron Man. Just want to stand him next to the Hulk here so you can see just how tall he is compared to Iron Man. And uh, it doesn't seem out of whack having him stand next to him because the Hulk is uh, a towering beast and uh, I think he looks looks good uh, standing next to him there. Uh, you know, he's, he's just the right size. So we're going to take Iron Man out of here. Now, the sculpting on this is phenomenal. The weapons are, are amazing. You just take a look at them here. They're much stronger plastic than um, the weapons that came with the Marvel Legends. So, like, this is not uh, one of the issues with the Marvel Legends. Uh, the hammer, I think, from the uh, Ragnarok Hulk. This was so brittle that it was starting to bend over if you had the Hulk holding it too long. This is not going to do that. Although it is a little cumbersome for him to hold, depending on the position you have the hands. Um, overall, it's an awesome weapon. Now, let's also take a look at the shield. You're able to get it up over his forearm and take it off rather easy. The detailing and uh, just the paint app applied to this is amazing. And it's really big too. So now let's look at the figure itself. Uh, the headpiece comes off, but the helmet does not. I tried to pull that off. I felt like I was gonna rip uh, his head right off. So that does not come off there. Um, but let's look at the detailing on this guy. Just look at how vascular he is. Look at the detailing and the sculpting first. The detail and the sculpting is amazing. And then the paint apps that are applied over it just to give it that super fleshy, um, like, I don't even know what the, the right words to, to call it. We have the vascular arms uh, all the way down to the hands here. Um, but it just like looks like layer upon layer of texture um, added to it. And it looks phenomenal. The gear that is on him, uh, very weathered, like he's been fighting in the arena, obviously because he has. Uh, again, looks phenomenal. The shoulder pad here is one piece. Actually, it looks like if you play with it, it might be able to come off, but you probably end up breaking it. Um, but, but again, this is weather and aged. Uh, like he's been fighting in the arena and it looks great. I love the 
metal arm. And then if we look on the back here, besides his, his little Celt or uh, dress there, um, the muscles along his back would make Arnold Schwarzenegger and Lou Ferrigno jealous. Uh, it's just amazing. The way that Jean St. Pierre does the sculpting uh, is like he's God forming a human being. His uh, the anatomy, the way he sculpts it, is just phenomenal. On on most almost all of uh, the figures I have from him, I I I think are flawless. <clears throat> and all the way down to the leg, the gladiator sandals, excellent work there. And his non-manicured toes, that would make any woman scream, uh, also look great. <laughs> so articulation-wise, um, also let's look at the face there. Great work on the face. I honestly have to say Marvel Legends have came, or Marvel Select figures have come such a long way. Uh... I don't know if you guys remember when they first came out, they were more statuesque. Uh, and as they've evolved, they've evolved into um, action figures, but more, you know, adult oriented, uh, but just amazing. Years ago when these came out, I would never thought that they would look like they do now. So, uh, all right, so the head, good range of motion in the head. Actually, you can turn it all the way around. A little bit upwards, a little down. The arms. Obviously, this arm you get a little higher than the other. The shoulder pad here kind of hinders that. We do have uh, somewhat of a bicep swivel in here. And single jointed elbows. Wrist rotation. We have uh, up here at the top, right above the rib cage, uh, ab crunch. And you can also twist at the waist. So waist swivel in there. Now as far as the articulation in a leg, this is the common um, Diamond Select, Marvel Select uh, crotch that, that is used. So you can get a good kick forward up to the side and we have a upper thigh swivel it's a little tight but you got swivel in there articulation in the knee and then articulation with the ankles so this this figure is nice and heavy very solid um excellent addition for marvel legends like i said i think it goes great in scale uh and it's just uh, it's definitely um a great piece to have uh it almost makes you wonder and ask if diamond select toys and NECA could put out such high quality figures at just about the same price point as marvel legends within that like 20 to 25 dollar range why can't legends be this good and it's a bigger company uh with more distribution and you have these companies that are are just knocking it out the park with the sculpting and the figures um and the detail and it looks great so um well thanks for checking me out guys check me out on facebook instagram and youtube the ultimate toy collector uh check me out at cool dad pop culture reviews uh toy news international and we have toy fair coming up we will be checking out the Diamond Select toy booth. All right, until next time, guys, happy hunting.